Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy RJ in the house. Um, I'm still here at uh, Dobbins Air Reserve Base in Marietta, just outside Atlanta. Um, when I tell you that I have had a truly awesome week, I mean, that's an understatement. Uh, seriously, you know, the event that I went to the other night with my friend uh, Charmel, it was off the chain. You know, when I say ATL showed a brother love, they showed a brother love. L-O-V-E. Not that H-Town don't show me love, too, now, because, hey, I'm just saying, you know, hey, I'm a Texas boy to the heart. But I'm just saying it, it was it was good to go to uh, another location and see people's energy, you know, and how people are hungry, you know, for success. I mean, this is what I be telling people all the time. You know, you got to go for what you want with all your might, and you can't let nothing stop you. And so when I say that this trip was really what I needed, I mean, y'all, I got eight hours and 55 minutes of sleep last night, damn near nine hours, and I haven't done that in a long time. Um, but really, you know, I you know part of it was a jet lag, but also it was from, you know, just having a great time, being being excited, being, you know, and I ain't talking about, hey, who that? Oh, Gerald Drummer, what's up, baby? All right, hey, man, hey, keep grinding too, brother, keep grinding. You know what I'm saying? I remember the day I met you, man, in San Antonio, man. I knew you was a young brother that had it going on. You was going to make some things happen, you know, and I'm really proud of you, man. Seriously, I want you to keep that energy up, man, and do what you do. And so, you know, this is what I be telling people all the time. You know, if you can't stand positivity, if you can't stand being uplifted, well, you might not want to hang around RJ because this is what I do. And, and what I'm going to tell y'all once again, 2020 is the year. I know we come up with all these little cliches. I mean, we've been coming up with them for years, you know. What was it? I mean, I know back in uh, uh, 2009, we're going to shine in 2009. We're going to win in 2010. It's going to be a little piece of heaven in 2011. You know, we're going to make it do what it do in 2012. But seriously, all jokes, all play aside, all cliches aside, 2020 is the year. For those of you who want it, for real, you know, I've already, you know, cut out some people out of my life who, you know, wasn't really talking about nothing. You know, the naysayers and all that, all that negative energy. I'm going to say it again, y'all. Get those haters and naysayers away from you because they ain't going to do nothing but sap your energy dry. You know, and half of them will act like they want to say something to you to, I guess, you know, try to see where you're coming from and act like they're interested in what you have to say. But what they're really doing is uh, hoping to discourage you because they don't have the gumption within themselves to do what it is they got to do. And once again, y'all, you can't let them jokers get you. You can't let them get to you at all. You know, once again, you got to wake up every day with the mindset that you are going to win. For real, real talk, do that. You know, this is what I do. I'm, You know, honestly, this trip was really what I needed. I mean, y'all already know this is who I am, but I'm talking about, you know, sometimes you need a little bit of recharging and, you know, I got that. You know, look, y'all, Twitter, Twitter's off the chain. I, I mean, I can't, seriously, I mean, there's so much excitement inside me, I can't even keep it bottled up, y'all. I mean, real talk, real talk. I got a little tongue tied just then. Real talk. I want y'all to keep shining, keep doing what it is, y'all. Don't you see it? Don't you feel it? You know, I know I do. I feel it. I mean, and if some of this energy can rub off on y'all, you know, I hope that it does. Because guess what? RJ Atkins is going places, and I'm taking my tribe with me. You know what I'm saying? And that means if you are a person who don't make excuses, if you are a person who is hungry, if you are a person who is starving for success, that means you are a member of my tribe. And I'm proud to have you, you know, and I just hope that we can have a mutual, mutually beneficial relationship. You know, because that's what it's all about. It's about uplifting each other. I mean, we don't seen all the tragedies and stuff that's been happening here lately. I mean, Lord knows, you know, Kobe Bryant's death was really, I mean, that, 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 I mean, really, it's like we all knew him personally. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm two months older than Kobe. And, you know, seriously, it, it, it hasn't even fully sunk in yet that he's gone. Him and his little girl, you know, you know, and those other families. I mean, things are happening, y'all, constantly, you know. So just the fact that we're still here and the fact that we're still alive, you know, alive and kicking, that should be enough motivation, you know, for us to get up and do something. Because we saw that Kobe was only here 41 years and he wasn't no old man. I'm 41. You know, I'm not an old man, you know, but he accomplished a lot in those 41 years. And I'm saying we weren't placed here for this. We were placed here to make differences in you know, whatever respective field or talents that we have, it's up to us to grasp those talents. And really, you know, just just do whatever it is to nurture them and help them grow. 
You know, surround yourself with people that's on the same mission as you. When I tell you at the event the other night, uh, at, the, at a Revel in Atlanta, the uh, Get Connected event, the ninth anniversary, I mean, that place was off the chain. You know, I took a few uh, pictures here and there, whatever. I didn't really take any live video or anything. But, I mean, just the energy in that place, I mean, it was so awesome. I mean, people loved my personality. They fell in love with it. Hell, even the bartender was like, hey, I like your personality. I was like, hey, I like yours, too. You know, it was great. Uh, because this is what I do. This is This, this is me, guys. I mean... And I'm just hoping that as many of you who are wanting things to change, I'm hoping that you'll get up. I mean, start right now if you haven't already. You know, if you have already started, keep going. Keep doing what you do. But if you have not started, start today. This is a brand new month, February 1st, Black History Month. I celebrate Black History uh, 365, but I'm saying, hey, this is, you know, a lot of great black pioneers have done things that you can research about. You know, those are the ones you don't know. I mean, of course, Dr. King did his thing. You know, but there's also the Medgar Evers's. There's also the Marcus Garvey's, you know, the Sojourner Truths. You know, and of course, we know Harriet Tubman. Great movie, by the way. Um, but guys, seriously, any adversities that you may be facing, do not let them discourage you. Because when I tell you I've had adversity back to back to back to back trying to stop me, it's been there. I mean, believe that. I mean, especially my audition in Dallas a few weeks ago, I, the last live video I did. I mean, that was just like, whoa, what's really going on here? But once again, I was determined to not miss that audition. And so what I'm saying is get some determination in your mind and in your heart. You know, it starts here. You know, you believe you can do it, but get it here because when something's in your heart, you're not going to let it go. You know, another great announcement that I have, uh, you know, as you guys already saw on my personal page as well as my fan page, uh, my granddaughter was born, you know, Nova Graceland Spurlock, yeah, my, my second grandchild. I mean, honestly, I mean, hey, this is like the face of a grandpa to you. Love it, love it, love it. No, I just, you know, not trying to sound egotistical or nothing, but you get what I'm saying. I mean, that, that's another reason I'm hype. I mean, knowing that my generation is carrying on, you know, and in spite of the many things that have, you know, that I've gone through over the years, I'm still kicking. You know, I know there's, you know, people who thought I wouldn't be here, people who thought whatever, oh, he ain't doing nothing. Oh, he just talking about something. Oh, this Negro just posting about acting and this and this and this, you know, not realizing that I was taking it seriously. But then again, I'm going to tell you, you can't be the type of person to get caught up in what people think, you know, especially when it's negative. Don't get caught up in that. Do what you do. I mean, really, truly believe in what it is that you're going after with all your might. I mean, you don't have to be an actor. If you're a singer, if you're a dancer, if you're a writer, I mean, you know, you want to start your own business, whatever it is, guys, you want to be a, a teacher, an astronaut, whatever it is that you're aiming for. I want to see you get there for real. You know, and I haven't really set a time schedule of how often I'm going to do these, but I'm, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to set a regular day each week. I'm going to do them. Who knows? You know, sometimes I, you know, just on a whim will do something, you know, just, you know, get up with something on my mind and, you know, just want to share it with you all. Uh, but seriously, this is, this is what I'm saying, guys. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. 2020, 2020 is the year. 2020 vision. You can see things clearly. Get what is yours. No more excuses. Don't let nobody else tell you what you can and can't do. Not even yourself. Because trust me, those little doubts do try to creep into your mind sometimes. I get that, you know. They do come in and you're like, oh, who am I food? And I don't have enough money or I don't have this or I don't have that. But all I'm going to say to that is do not lose hope. Do not lose faith. Keep on trucking. Doors can and will open. They do. Believe that. It starts here just as easily as you can say something negative. That I mean, hell, that's easy to do. You know, why continue to declare those things over yourself? You know, I mean, life is going to happen regardless. We're going to have enough BS happen to us on a daily basis to where we shouldn't even want to wallow in it. You know, we shouldn't even want to think about it. I mean, we should want to be, you know, just take this stuff and, you know, ball it up and, and throw it away, you know, and get nothing but positivity in here. Know in your mind that you can do it. Know in your mind what you want, you know, because when I tell you that this is R.J. Atkins' year, it is. Just know that. I mean, and if, and, hey, and even if you don't know it, if you don't want to believe it, I believe it. I know that. And those of you that's rock, rocking and rolling with me, trust me, you will not be forgotten, you know, because I know it's coming. It's one thing when you think, when you when you kind of speculate, oh, I'm thinking this may be it. No, but it's nothing when you know, when you know. I mean, just to even be, you know, here in the same vicinity uh, as someone who's making great moves like Tyler Perry. I mean, that's just freaking awesome. I mean, when I tell you Tyler Perry got this city sold up, he is doing the thing. You know, and he'll forever be an inspiration to me because when they told, when Hollywood told him no, he says, well, to hell with it. I'm going to make my own table. You know, that's what he did. And come on, now he's got what the largest, the largest uh, uh, set, 
you know, in the United States. Hell, maybe the world. Not quite sure. But either way, it's freaking huge. I mean, 12 sound stages. Dude got a replica of the White House on there. I mean, yeah, you know, we, you know people make you know fun of his little you know, films and wigs and whatnot like that on a fall from grace. But hey, oh freaking well. You know, everything ain't going to be A1. You know, but at least the brother got something to do. I mean, at least he ain't got to go beg nobody else for nothing. That's what I'm saying. Whenever you get your own, you ain't got to beg nobody. You know, that's what my papa used to tell me. He said, boy, you get your own, you ain't got to ask nobody for nothing. You know, so that's what I'm telling y'all. Get what is yours. Get it. Don't let nobody tell you, you know, you can't have it. Don't nobody tell you you ain't good enough, you ain't smart enough. Once again, so many great people throughout history have been told that they couldn't do something. You know, Albert Einstein got told he was slow. You know, Oprah got told she'll never make it in journalism. You know, come on, you know. And I know, I know I've told this story once before, but I think Tyler Perry's first play, uh, only 30 people showed up after he invited thousands, you know, and he knew all 30 of the people who showed up, you know. But look at him now. That's all I'm saying. Adversity does come. Disappointments will come. No doubt about that. I'm an optimist, but I'm also a realist. These things do happen, but all I'm saying is, whatever happens, never give up. Wake up every day with that mindset that today will be your day. Today is going to be better than the day uh, uh, yesterday, last week, whatever. Whatever may have happened to you, it's going to be better. But it's going to start with you. Know that. It's going to start with you and your mindset. You know, I mean, look forward. Hone in on it. I mean, you know, if you're like me, sometimes you have a tendency to take on too many things at once. You know, I kind of, you know, I, you know, I got a few things going. I got the nonprofit. I got a couple of LLCs, uh, you know, uh, corporation, the Black and Proud TV network that I'm starting. Uh, but I kind of had to put some stuff on the back burner, you know, not do, you know, I didn't, I didn't uh, stop doing it. I just put it on the back burner, you know, kind of like when you're cooking, you know, and you, you know, kind of put some stuff on the back aisle so it can stay warm, you know, but just put it down real low. That's what I got that stuff doing. But, you know. My acting career right now is right here. Boom, boom, boom. You know, and I'm truly blessed to be an actor with a day job. I mean, I'm truly grateful for that. Shout out to Aldean ISD. You, Root, we are Aldean. And, um, you know, unfortunately, we lost a longtime staff member, uh, Mr. Ken Knippel. He was uh, the assistant superintendent of uh, administration, uh, you know, before he got sick and everything. But he gave 39 years to Aldean. And he was an awesome man. I met him. He's a fellow Dallas Cowboys fan, baby. Who, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm saying I love my boys. Talk about them all you want to, but they're going to forever be my boys. You know, that's another thing of perseverance. You know, us Cowboys fans, we stick in there no matter what. We loyal. Now, I'm just saying. Now, Jerry, all I'm going to tell you is this. Um, last time we won a Super Bowl, I didn't have any children. Now I have three grown daughters, a grandson, and a granddaughter. It is time. It is time again. But anywho, hey, once again, y'all, persevere. Make it do what it do. Let's get it, y'all. Let's get it. Let's wake up with a new mindset every day. I don't care what happened to you yesterday or this morning. Don't matter. Leave the past in the past. Make the present your goal. You know, whatever's going on right now, take it. Say, all right, let's get it. I'm about to overcome this negativity, whatever it is, shut people off, cut them out, you know, your own mindset, change that, you know, I don't care if you tried a thousand times and it didn't work, get up and try again, you know, try again, something can and will happen for you guys, stay motivated, stay humble, and stay hungry, matter of fact, stay hungry, I'm gonna say it like that, I gotta get real country with y'all real quick, get hungry for success, you know, get hungry for it, say no, nothing's gonna stop me, you know, I don't care what you say, you know, and, and, and you know what, you ain't got to tell everybody when you start, you know, you ain't got to tell everybody just, hey, you know, just get them start going. Guess what? People going to start seeing what you do. You know, people going to start seeing what you do. And then, you know, and hey, who knows who you might rub off on? You never know who's watching. You never know who you may inspire. You know, sometimes just you being you, sometimes just you getting up. You know, and trying no matter what comes against you. And I, I'm going to tell you all again, I got all kind of stuff still trying to happen to me right now. You know, I got people hoping that I fail right now as we speak. But am I giving them the time of day? In the words of the late uh, Bishop Bullwinkle, hell no, to the no, 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 hell to the no. You don't get my attention. You don't get my time. You know, and don't let them get yours either. I want you all to keep shining, keep grinding. Make it do what it do. I love each and every last one of y'all. Take care of yourselves. Peace. I'll be back in the H-Town very soon. <laughs>